Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Believe in the magic of tomorrow and your spirits will be lifted in the wings of hope. Let's take a look at it out here. We had the Dow Industrials down 254, NASDAQ down 16, S&P's down 21, gold contract up $54 at $1,248 an ounce. Gold, folks, took out all the swing points, monster volume, longer term basis. Gold's going to make this run for $1,392, huge number. Silver, up 51 cents, $16.79. Now, you get some divergence there. You know, silver's going for the highs of uh, October, but bottom line, a lot weaker than gold. Gold's going to the moon. Silver's going to the October 15th swing highs, which is about a 15, uh, 16.28. Platinum, platinum up $26 at $9.61 an ounce. You get copper down one and a half pennies at $2.01 a pound. Light sweet crude. Uh, down seven, 17 cents at $28.28 .28 a barrel. Bonds, the 10 year up 17 ticks, 132.01. The 30 up a full point and 13 ticks, 168.15. Now, both the 10 and the 30 went to all time highs today. They did back off those levels. You know, we'll see, in fact, uh, if the 10 year can. It just got below the 132.01, which is a crucial level, uh, by a tick. We'll see if, in fact, uh, it opens underneath that and the trades underneath that tonight. If it does, then you will get this bounce in the marketplace. What you, what you have here, folks, is this. The NASDAQ composite and the S&Ps will go through it, but they tested the lows, rejected the lows, went topside. The NASDAQ actually got stronger than uh, the S&Ps or the Dow, which is positive uh, because the NASDAQ can drag those babies up. The NASDAQ dragged them down. The tech um, wreck uh, is what uh, brought this down so fast and furious. King dollar. King dollar down 326 ticks, trading at 95.61. You have the euro up 29 at 113, and the yen is trading at 112.34. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? This is how it's shaking out, folks. So, we've been testing these lows over and over and over again. Uh, what, what you had here is that you came right back into the January 20th low, and the S&P, that's 181.02, we went to 181.09 today. We did that with 209 million shares versus 286 million. When you come back into highs or lows, in this case we were coming back into a low, without building cars, and you came back in too quick, the market's tired of selling, folks. That's what's going on. And we've tested, we tested on Monday, couldn't break the lows, that's a huge amount of energy. We tested today, used a huge amount of energy. Bottom line, this, that's what makes bounces happen. Um, I suspect, now, when you can't bust them down, what does that line up? Well, that lines up that now the S&P, the SPY, can go to 194.58, because that's the consolidation here that's we're in place. But remember, the larger picture, though, is that we're doing a monster ABC structure on the way down. Uh, the smaller picture is that I expect you're still gonna get a bounce. We take a look at the NDX 100. Now, what the Qs have done is this. The Qs broke the January 20th level. That level there had 86 million shares. We had broken that, and we broke that uh, last Friday. We broke that with 70 million. Uh, on Monday, we end up doing 91 million, and this is, where, this is where it is. Today, what did we do? Today, we tested the 91 million, and we did that with 74 million. So now the Qs are the one you really want to watch. The reason being is that the Qs are the ones first off that rejected lower price and if we if i show you this intraday uh this morning this was right from the get-go this morning folks uh the cues this morning even if you're watching the tv market was down tremendously uh bottom line it was at uh 0700 this morning that the cues had rejected that lower price at the 3862 area uh you know so the, the cues from high to low today went up 100 points you know, bottom line, I suspect th this bounce is going to be on. Now, check out gold. This is an extraordinary move by gold. 
Uh, it has the wide price spread, has the accelerated volume. Evidently, uh, you know, there's a lot of buy-in number one, and evidently, I suspect, a lot of folks were on the wrong side of this move and you had to buy into it. So, gold today did 343,000 contracts. It was up 53 bucks. If we take a look at this and you take a look in, we put this on the continuous contract, what you're going to see is that the move here can get you to 1392, and that's a monster move. You know, now, will it go straight? I don't think so. Uh, but 1392 is game out here, and uh, if we get uh, one more uh, slight move just higher tomorrow, uh, what is going to be game on a weekly basis now is the 1428. So it was a big move. We take a look at the XAU. What do you have with the XAU? XAU got over it. It swing highs there of uh, 58.14. You're at 58.73 uh, right now. Uh, the Gold Bugs Index, which is the strongest, and, and the Gold Bugs Index, by the way, has been projecting that the physical metal itself was going to go a lot higher. Uh, the Gold Bugs Index had already taken its swing point out of 139. That took that out last week, and it took it out with volume. So the Gold Bugs Index did its job, specifically meaning that it was showing that, guess what? The equities that do not sell forward more than a year and a half wanted higher price, got higher price, all of the above. Now, bonds. This is the, this is the canary in the coal mine meaning going up and in on bounces. So the 10-year note today did 2.3 million contracts. That's a lot of contracts. That's, that's a good, good high. Now, the high of that was 133.01. We gave up a full point. That's a, that's a big number. Uh, we'll see if, in fact, this thing gaps down tomorrow. If it gaps down tomorrow, then you put the bond market together with the broad market. That would give you the bounce in the broad market, a pullback in the bond market, and you want, you'd want to be lining those up. Now, the pullback, if in fact that's happening inside the 10-year, the, the first stop would be 129.08, and that's, that's, a, that's, a, that's a big pullback. If you're thinking of refinancing your house, if you're thinking of buying a house, go do it, folks. The 10-year is at 1.6%, and all real estate money comes off of that 10-year. So that is an extraordinary rate. King dollar. What do we have with king dollar? Bottom line, king dollar wants lower price. And it looks like the way that gold is moving, by the way, folks, it looks like all fiat currencies are going down against gold and I suspect what it's actually going to be is against hard assets. That's the way it seems this is lining up. You know, because there's no doubt it's an extraordinary move in gold. The king dollar right now is trading at 95.62. Next move, I suspect, is going to be down at 94. That is the swing low from October 15th. And what's wide open is that swing low from August tw uh, 24th, which is 93.12. You stay right there, folks. We'll be coming right back. Dow Industrials uh, finished uh, down. Uh, 254. We're going to be right back.